You are the doorway? You were sure you killed the boy? You didn't just dream it? I didn't dream it, but I didn't kill him either. I told you that they did. I am the doorway. You buried him? Yes. Remember where? Yes. If you want to see it, you'll have to get my wheelchair. You can't roll it through the sand. Not yet. Tell me again. All right. Last night at seven, I was out here, looking at the gulf and smoke, just like now. And Go I- back further. Further? Tell me about the flight. Richard, we've been through it and through it. There's nothing. Now you may remember. Do you think so? Possibly. And when we're through, we can look for the grave. <gasps> It don't matter what, you got all the gadgets, plus five suit up cameras and a nice little telescope with a zillion lenses and filters. Find some gold or platinum, better yet, find some nice dumb little blue man for us to study, exploit, and feel superior to. Anything. You should probably know that these have found something. Dessa, what's that? An experiment that never panned out. Deep space antenna. We were broadcasting Pi and high-frequency pulses for anyone who cared to listen. Same idea as that radio telescope in West Virginia. You know the one that listens to the stars? Only instead of listening, we were transmitting primarily to deeper space. Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus. If there's any intelligent life out there, it was taking a nap, we thought. Probably dust particles. But it was near Mars. Little blue men? Hmm. Only Corey went out? Yes, and if he brought in any interest of a plague, no scans detected it. Still. It doesn't matter. Only the here and now matters. They killed the boy last night, Richard. It wasn't a nice thing to watch or feel. His head, it exploded, as if someone had scooped out his brains and put a hand grenade in his skull. Finish the story. What's the tell? Looks like we found something out, buddy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I came to back on Earth. They hadn't even had a chance to roll out the red carpet yet. I was bleeding. Bleeding over a red carpet that didn't look anywhere near as red as I did. I would have made a great prom date for Carrie. I know. Show your hands. No! I can't let them see. I told you that. It's been two years. Why now, Arthur? Can you tell me that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe whatever it is is a long gestation period or something. Or who's to say I even got it out there? Whatever it was might have infected me when we were in Fort Lauderdale. Or right here on this porch for all I know. I'm trying, Arthur. I don't want you to think that you're going crazy. If I have to, I'll show you my hands. It cost me an effort to say it, but only if I have to. I'll get the car. We'll look for the boy. Thanks, Richard. Have you cut some quarries and ivy? I guess. It could be just nerves. Keep on it. Dr. Flanders is fishing, but if it's urgent... When will Dr. Flanders be back? Dr. Flanders will be back after tomorrow afternoon, at the latest. Never mind. All right, Artie. 
It's your party. We're two. The beach. Where's the body? Where's the boy, Arthur? They moved him. They knew! They used me. They're getting the upper hand, Richard. They're forcing their doorway open a little at a time. A hundred times a day I find myself staring at some perfectly familiar object. A spatula, a picture, even a can of beans without knowing how I even got there. With my hands out, showing it to them, seeing it as they do, as an obscenity. Something twisted and grotesque. Arthur. Uh, Arthur, don't. Uh, Standing in front of something, you said. Moving the boy's body, you said. But you are dead from the waist down. Your car is dead too, but when you enter it, you can make it go. You can make it kill. It couldn't stop you even if it wanted to. Don't you understand that? I am the doorway. They killed the boy, Richard. They moved the body! I think you better see a medical man. Let's go back, check on the boy, and find out. You said you didn't know his name. It's a small village. Ask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Artie, calm down. No one has been reported missing. You know him, don't you? He's a local. Artie, have you been drinking? So what? You don't believe me? You think it's all in my head, don't you? You ever heard of AA, Artie? I know I drink. I do. These hands would make you drink too, Richard. So ain't no other way around it but through. I gotta show you. You have to see them. If I don't see them, will you come with me to a meeting tomorrow? I've been sober for five years now. You must promise me one thing, Richard. You must run if it seems I try to hurt you. Do you understand that? Yes. It's all right. I don't see anything. You'll come with me to the meeting tomorrow. Let's go. All right. That should be the rest of it. You're alcohol free now. No temptations. I'll make an art piece out of it to remind you what, what it looks like. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. Too. It's what happened to you and Corey that sobered me right up. His hands, his holes in his hands like eyeballs. We never seem to find his head. I am not crazy. You must shut down the Zeus project. Mars is infected by them. I am doing this to save everyone. The doorway is opening. Again, I must close it forever. Arthur Nelson, former astronaut, now a doorway to another world. That's a nice dumb little boom at for us to study, exploit, and get serious. We are officially closed for business.
Karina Kujan, and this is S N N News. Kyle, take it away. I'm Kyle King, and this is S N N News. In space news, the Zeus Project have successfully launched its first Mars expedition colony. While they've reported some infections similar to poison ivy, the latest diseases are no more harmful than a mosquito bite. <laughs> Good. No more harmful than a mosquito bite. Thank you, Kyle.